subscribe back to our channel. Just in case you haven't, please subscribe. You can also hit the notification bell and then keep getting notified in case of any new video we upload to this channel. My name is Mike Mukaira. I'm an architect by profession, consultant, but also lecturer. In today's video, we want to look at outdoor shapes. Why outdoor shapes? Outdoor shapes give sun protection and privacy. They are very, very important. But outdoor shades also confuse because there are lots of them. There have been scenarios where someone is torn between choosing a pagola or a gazebo. So, at Real Property Guidance, Education and Guidance Base Karen, we are trying to guide you in choosing the right outdoor shades for your property. Pagolas. What is a pagola? Pagola is basically an outdoor embellishment, basically forming a shaded walkway, passageway, or a sitting area of vertical posts or pillars that are usually supporting uh, the cross beams. But uh, when we talk of pagolas, we also talk of gazebos, we also talk of pavilions, and so much more. So, why choose a pagola? There are very many reasons as to why uh, one can opt for a pagola. But let's look at some of the advantages. A pagola creates an outdoor living area. Okay. A pagola doesn't obstruct your view from inside your house. When you opt for a pagola, it allows more air circulation. Okay. More so, a pagola is easier and cheaper to maintain. And also, uh, it can be faster to install and requires fewer building materials. But that's not all, because sometimes there are also uh, challenges when dealing with pagolas. And some of these challenges, for instance, include uh, the common materials used for pagolas easily fed over time because due to the exposure to the sun, the, the rain and all that, they easily fed. It is also, if also not well treated, these materials, especially timber, can easily get affected by the termites. And also, we of course know that uh, the pagola will be very good for the property, increase the barrier and all that. But it will only increase the value of your home if it is well received. Number two, we look at gazebos. Gazebos are just freestanding attachment features, just like pagolas, sometimes seen as pavilion structures. They can be attached to a garden wall or even just installed within a garden. In most cases, they are usually hexagonal octagonal in shape. They are fully roofed but open on all the sides. Now, why opt for gazebos? With gazebos, you also have the chance of increasing the value of your home or your property. But unlike pagolas, with gazebos, they will provide more shape. More so, you can install screens within the sides keep away the insects, but also improve the privacy levels. There is also a chance of installing electricity and other upgrades. But just like pagolas, we also have challenges that one needs to look into when it comes to choosing gazebos. These are advantages of gazebos. Gazebos will take up more space in the garden. Gazebos would cost you more to build and maintain, especially when compared to a pagola. 
and they might also require a specific design and a contractor to build or install. Uh, they are usually over wind and door openings on the most calendars in the residential settings. Then we do have umbrellas. If you're thinking of a small space, small budget, or any outdoor structure in your compound, in your gardens, go for umbrellas. Have very nice umbrellas that are wide enough to create a furry. Uh, conducive and convenient outdoor shape. They're also very portable. Short of that, we can also talk of canopy debates. These are also some interesting uh, outdoor sheds. Uh, mostly on the beaches or on the offshores of the lakes. But if you have a uh, property overlooking the lake, it can provide a very good uh, outdoor living space. Once again, this is Mike Kaira, real estate, architecture, and land management. Please subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell so that you keep getting notified in case we release more videos to this channel. Please leave your comments below. You can also connect with us or follow through uh, our other social media platforms by following the links within the description below. We do have architecture designs and construction guidance. It's a Facebook page, Real Property Guidance, Salapitji, it's a WhatsApp group, Instagram, Twitter, and many more. Keep on the lookout for our next video. Our previous video was uh, allowing space. Once again, I wish to thank you for watching and keep tuned to our channel.